Hello and welcome to FPS News, your source for everything first person shooter and maybe third person too. I make the rules here. First up is Fallout 4 which you might have heard has been revealed. The amount of hype for this game came seemingly out of nowhere but hey, Reddit blew up, Twitter blew up and Facebook sneezed. Bethesda dropped a big ass trailer bomb on us and everybody lost their minds. The game is set in Boston, has a talking protagonist and a dog, though whether it talks is not yet confirmed. Those who didn't cream their pants at the announcement took to complaining about the visuals as being unimpressive. And yeah, they aren't as impressive as say The Witcher 3 which we've all been royally ploughing, but it doesn't look that bad either when you compare it to Fallout 3 and New Vegas which came before. The best case scenario would be that this is console footage with Bethesda prioritising a 60 frames per second target instead of the now for some stupid reason standard 30. But that is the best case scenario and unlikely let's be honest. I wasn't too bothered about the visuals myself because PC mods are a thing, but I was concerned about the lack of new features shown. It could have been a trailer for Fallout 3 Remastered for all I saw as everything looked a little bit too familiar. Am I pumped for a new Fallout game? Of course. Do I need to see more before I'm sold? Of course. Sure it's Naughty Dog and sure it's Uncharted, but holy balls does the PlayStation 4 need some new games which aren't remasters or unwarranted reboots. It is getting ridiculous. Who'd have thought a lack of backwards compatibility could provide a good enough excuse for publishers to keep on pumping these things out? Anyway, ranting aside, at least it's Naughty Dog who's the latest remaster culprit as they nailed it with the 1080p The Last of Us and I'm sure they'll nail it again with Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection, which just sounds like he's going to die in the next one if, if, if they're calling it that. Unfortunately, there isn't going to be any multiplayer making it into the bundle, so despite being inspired by the Master Chief Collection's name, Naughty Dog didn't feel inclined to steal the Beast multiplayer mixture. Those who do pick up Uncharted The Nolan North Collection will also get access to the Uncharted 4 A Thief's End multiplayer beta. A Thief's End? Nathan hasn't got a chance. In Rainbow Six Siege news, which I am monitoring closely as the game does tickle my pickle a little, I won't lie, the new FBI SWAT team profile has been revealed. This wholly American squad specialises in demolition, defence tactics and intel. A trailer showcasing the four embarrassingly codenamed soldiers depicts more micro-destruction and interesting gadget use. Sure, I wasn't massively impressed by the recent build, but I think the feedback given by the community, by which I mean just shouting and twitting and twatting, will help the devs in delivering something worthwhile this October. For now, I've not seen or played enough to condemn Ubisoft's latest shooter efforts and I'm still optimistic. The last bit of news for today is all about Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. Yeah. Which, no, I'm not sponsored by or affiliated with. I just loves it. The game, which I've just put untouched, uncut footage of right here, is well worth a go for any first-person shooter fan on PC. An update, update 3.6 to be exact, went live yesterday, which added new cosmetic item drops to the game, allowing for further customization and an added incentive to keep on playing if the addicting gameplay just isn't enough for ya. There's also a GIF GIF contest going down as well where players can show off their skills using the in-game capture mode, submit it to the developer for review and possibly win a prize. Ooh. Give it a go and if you don't like it, get a refund under Steam's new policy. Yeah. So there you go, your fill of FPS news to get you ready for the weekend ahead. Join me again early next week for more paraphrased articles read out loud by my usual cynical self. Please like, share and of course comment below with your thoughts on Fallout 4 and what Chinese cuisine you most prefer. This has been me, Mac, coming in your ears. Goodbye.